How do you feel about having a chip put in your head? Many people don't like the idea because they think they'll turn into zombies that could be controlled from the other side of the world. Elon Musk, a billionaire inventor, wants to change the world by putting chips in people's heads. One of his companies, Neuralink, is about to start selling a brain chip. What can you do with the newest Neuralink chip? How will it make you a better person? In this video, we'll talk about Elon Musk's Neuralink brain chip, which is finally coming out on the market. However, before we begin our video, we would greatly appreciate it if you subscribe to our YouTube channel and also press the bell icon. Let's get started. The brain is a unique and influential part of the body. It is the command center of human nervous system. It gets information from the organs that sense things and sends it to the muscles. The basic structure of the human brain is the same as that of other mammal brains, but it is bigger than the rest of the body. About 2% of a person's body weight, or about 3 pounds, is made up of their brain. On average, men have about 10% bigger brains than women. The central part of the brain, the cerebrum, is in the front of the skull and makes up 85% of the brain's weight. There are about 86 billion nerve cells, or neurons, in your brain. These nerve cells are also called gray matter. About the same number of non-neuronal cells, like oligodendrocytes, which cover neuronal axons with a myelin sheath, is also in the brain. This makes the thin strands called axons used to send electrical signals between neurons to look white. So, these nerve cells are called white matter in the brain. The cerebrum is the most significant part of your brain. It is split into two parts called hemispheres. The frontal, parietal, temporal, and occipital lobes comprise each hemisphere. The cortex is the surface of the brain that is bumpy. The brainstem is right below the cerebrum. The cerebellum is behind that. The frontal lobe is essential for thinking, planning, and controlling movements. The temporal lobe is where feelings and memories are made. The parietal lobe combines information from different senses and is essential for figuring out where you are and how to get around. The occipital lobe near the back of the head is where the brain processes what it sees. Did you know that the brain of a sperm whale weighs five times as much as yours? But you are far more intelligent. This is because the overall size of a non-human animal's brain has nothing to do with how smart it is. Also, in humans, the size of a person's brain doesn't show how smart they are. Some geniuses in their field have brains that are smaller than average, while others have brains that are bigger than average. For instance, compare the minds of two well-known writers. The brain of Russian writer Ivan Taganyov weighed 71 ounces or 2,021 grams. On the other hand, the brain of French writer Anatole France weighed only 36 ounces or 1,017 grams. But even though the brain is mighty, it could sometimes slow down and cause the body to stop doing things. This vital organ can stop working because of an accident or a disease. This is where the billionaire genius Elon Musk comes in. One of his businesses is Neuralink, which wants to put a chip in your head to record brain activity and stimulate it to make your brain work better. In 2017, the Wall Street Journal was the first news outlet to write about Neuralink. In 2019, Elon Musk and other Neuralink executives gave a live-streamed presentation to show the company's technology. This was the company's first big public appearance. The Neuralink chip is put into a person's head and is about the size of a coin. From the chip, a bunch of tiny wires that are each about 20 times thinner than a human hair spread out into the patient's brain. The wires have 1,024 electrodes that can measure brain activity and, in theory, stimulate the brain with electricity. This information is sent wirelessly from the chip to computers where it can be studied. Neuralink is a technology that works as shown by the company. In 2020, one of Neuralink's chips was put inside a pig named Gertrude. The demonstration showed that the chip could accurately predict where Gertrude's limbs would be when she walked on a treadmill and also record neural activity when the pig sniffed around for food. Musk said the chip had been seen inside the pig's head for two months. Before, during, or after the experiment, there was nothing wrong with the pig. In April 2021, Neuralink took its animal demos further by showing how a monkey could play video games with its mind. Neuralink posted a video of Pager, a macaque monkey, playing video games like Pong for banana smoothies. Monkeys don't do anything they won't get a reward for. 
Pager played the games with a joystick that wasn't connected to the game's console. This meant that he moved the cursor by sending signals from his brain to his arm. How will Neuralink implant the chip inside the skull? Even though it's a hard job, the company has made a robot. Like a sewing machine, the robot would use a stiff needle to punch flexible wires from a Neuralink chip into a person's brain. In January 2021, Neuralink showed off the robot in a video. Musk said the machine makes putting electrodes into the brain as easy as laser eye surgery. It adjusts the needle automatically to make up for the movement of a patient's brain during surgery and the movement of the brain, breathing, and heartbeat. The robot is 8 feet tall, and Woke Studios designed it while Neuralink worked on its technology. After testing on animals goes well, the next step is testing people. This is a big step because there are many things to consider. Before getting all the necessary permits, a company that wants to do experiments like this on people has to clear a very high bar. But Musk has said that Neuralink has set its own goal higher than what the government is asking for. So when will human trials start? Musk has made this statement. But before we go any further, what will humans do with Neuralink? A chip in the brain could help treat neurological diseases like Parkinson's. Neuralinks are a type of improved neural interface technology that can make it easier to study and treat serious brain diseases like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. The electrodes in a patient's brain will give them the feeling of touch, letting them control a prosthetic limb more precisely. The company said that the first commercial use of its chip would be to help people with quadriplegia. Quadriplegia is partial or complete paralysis in all four limbs. To use a phone or laptop, you need to use your hands. But Neuralink will let people who can't move their limbs use their minds to play games, send emails, and even make phone calls on such devices. Neuralink will also help people who have lost their memories, especially older people or people who have had a stroke. In an interview, Elon Musk told Chris Anderson of TED that Neuralink could help with health problems like morbid obesity. Musk didn't say more, but Sadaf Faruqi, a professor of metabolism and medicine at the University of Cambridge, has said that the hypothalamus is usually the part of the brain that makes people hungrier. If Neuralink can target specific brain parts, it would be possible to deal with problems like morbid obesity. There are doubters, but so are Musk's other ideas, like landing the first stage of an orbital rocket on a drone in the middle of the ocean. People laughed at the idea at first, but now it doesn't seem so crazy. Even less invasive than other ways to treat morbid obesity, the idea is a good one. Some procedures used to treat morbid obesity today involve changing the shape and function of a patient's digestive tract. People are also waiting in line to participate in Neuralink's human trials. Musk said that the line is getting longer because his company is getting emails from people whose lives were cut short when they were at their best. He said that the emails that Neuralink gets are regrettable. I mean, they send us sad stories, like how someone in their prime was killed in a motorcycle accident and someone only 25 can't even feed themselves. We would make this better. He also said that Neuralink could help people with tinnitus. Neuralink has about 1,000 electrodes that are semi-generalized neural red-right devices, but tinnitus probably needs less than 1,000. But Neuralink will have more electrodes in its subsequent versions. While this is happening, Neuralink is progressing on its human trial, which will start in 2023. The company put up a job listing for a clinical trial director, a job that would help the company achieve its stated goal of testing its brain implant on real people. The person who gets the job would work with the first people in Neuralink's clinical trial. What does a Neuralink chip have? What do you think? Tell us in the comments section below. That's it for today. We hope you found our video interesting. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new uploads. In the end, thanks for watching and see you next time.